All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akin, is pushing his truth and true sincerity. This is part two of round two. This is part two of round two. Just found some more news. This is December 20th, 2021, the year of hastening unto the day of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Um, we're anxious to see what's going to be a the the um, slogan for 2022 as Apostle Har is going to coin the phrase uh, come the first of the year. So, uh, more news. And as I mentioned in my last lesson, there's going to be a second lockdown. And it's happening right now north of the border. Quebec, Canada. All right, the, the country that's north of uh, America. Co uh, this is from uh, WAMC.org. Quebec officials announced lockdown measures following boogeyman spike. The province of Quebec, which borders northern northern, which borders northern New York, has announced a series of partial lockdown measures after boogeyman cases doubled in less than a week. So I'm um. I'm gonna get this scripture right quick. Just just to start off with a quick scripture right quick. This is uh Psalms fifty-eight and three. The wicked, and who's the wicked? Esau eat on the self-proclaimed white man. Are strains from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So these are all lies. Yeah, some people are uh, dying from this boogeyman, but the boogeyman has a was a ninety six percent recovery rate. Ain't no eight hundred thousand people have died here in Babylon to the boogeyman. That that that's nonsense, man. But hey, this is this this is what Esau is doing because he has a short period of time. Like I mentioned in Revelation twelve and twelve, so he gonna have to go with it with this second round. Saying the situation has become critical, Quebec Health Minister Christian. Dubé on Monday outlined a number of mandatory closures to limit and reduce the stress on the healthcare system. We are closing bars, casinos, movie theaters, and performance venues. Teleworking is now mandatory. Restaurants can be open only between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. Sports performances, professional or amateur, will have to be behind closed doors. We are also closing gyms and spas with the expectation of personal care. Regarding schools, we are closing elementary and high school as well as adult centers. However, we will keep elementary school accessible until the holiday break to continue, now I knew it, the, distribu the distribution of rapid tests and the juice campaign only because they're trying to juice children between the ages of 5 to 11. No wonder why they're trying to keep the elementary school open. This is the devil for you. Students will return to in-person classes on January 10th. And they, they, the scriptures say, I'm going to read it again. Isaiah 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Read Malachi, the first chapter, verses 1 through 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So they're going to say, it's going to be, oh, it's till, you know, um, it's going to be until January 10th. And no, it just got higher. We're just going to go until February. And then six months later, you're in a whole nother lockdown and people just bug the hell out. You know? <laughs> people gonna lose their damn minds out here, man. You know? So, uh, I got another scripture in Daniel. But hey, this is part two of round two. Round two of these lockdowns are coming. And these people, they don't even know what's going on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this scripture right quick. Our, our people. Alright, and you got a brother up there in Quebec. Uh, GMS uh, contrition is key. Him and the other brother out there warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I'm sure he probably told you it was another one coming. And Quebec is is uh, strict as far as these uh, boogeyman mandates. Uh, Jeremiah 8 and 7. Yea, the stork in the heaven know it for appointed time, times. And the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of the coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Ultimately, it's the judgment of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Because man's goings is of the Lord. So Esau is a puppet. And Yahweh Bashem El Shai is the puppet master. He controls the whole narrative. Alright. So, 
our people do not know what the hell is going on. Like I said in my last video, getting ready for these holidays. And these people are so... They couldn't even sell it. They, you see, they couldn't... Last year, you couldn't go see your family and relatives because they, they scared the shit out of you. Now you got to get juiced up. Now you can have your Christmas parties and stuff. And a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you people, uh, a lot of people at your job, they already didn't got the juice, man. You see these people driving with the mask on, they got the juice, man. A lot of these people got the juice, man, so they can go back to their normal, everyday, miserable American lives. Okay? So let's get that scripture in Daniel. It's the same old thing. Babylon is boring. It's the same thing. How many times have you went to a baseball game? Never mind. Uh, Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. So through his policy, signing his different legislations. All right. And, and in the meantime, these different pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies got richer and the poor gets poorer. Signing all these different legislation to further take away your so-called rights, which you really never had. Because America is a corporation. This place is an, is an experiment. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Is not not what Esau is doing, but that's his that's how he gets down. That's his MO. He shall also stand up against the Prince of Princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Alright, so through Esau's legislation, he's gonna make more stricter laws, more draconian laws. Let's get this word draconian right quick. Because I keep saying in my last lesson, for somebody who doesn't know what it is, I'm just going to uh, bring it out. Alright, dr draconian definition. Alright, draconian is an adjective for exceedingly harsh, very severe. So it's going to get more harsh and more severe. Ask these uh, Canadians north of the border. And then it's going to trickle down here to America. Same thing happened in March 2020. It was it was there was lockdowns in Europe, then it spread over to Canada, and next thing you know, it's here it's here in Babylon the Great uh, with this Nigacron variant of the Boogeyman. All right, it's it spread out. the The first strain of the Boogeyman in 2020 was in Washington State, then it was in California. Now they're saying it's uh, it's deadlier than the first one, and then. Next thing you know, they're going to say, well, it's going to be a lockdown. It's going to be for three weeks. And then next thing you know, it's six, six months. This is how this devil goes down. A code of laws made by Draco, their measures were so severe that when they were said to be written in letters of blood, hence any laws of excessive rigor. And that's got to be the devil for you, man. This is how this devil gets down. He gets down in blood. But we also know that this man is about to be uh, taken down soon by the Heavenly Father. Second as a six and seven, and it reads. Then, then answered, then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth?" And he said unto me, "From Abraham unto Isaac, on Jacob. Jacob is a progenitor of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Esau. Esau is a progenitor of the so-called white race, which are not really white. You're red. You Caucasians. All right." You Temanites, you Amalekites, you know, so on and so forth, you uh, Edomites, the wicked that the Bible speaks of. It says, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. That's why you'll see all this madness going on, especially with this boogeyman strain, this niggercron strain, as I call it, the big O. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So after this present evil wicked world Jacob was going to rule forever there's not going to be any boogeyman strains of, of, of diseases for Israelites we're not going to get sick and die we're going to live forever so this just real quick I'm going to just end it off on this one this is um, well actually maybe maybe two more uh, but everything that you see we shouldn't get afraid because this is the end of Esau he, he's got to come down hard all right but the Lord, when you have faith, He's not going to forsake you. You know, here it is. We're we're still we man. Let me get this scripture right quick, man. All types of scriptures popping up in my head, man. The spirit, all praises to Yahweh Shemel Shai. This is uh, 
me see. Bear with me for a sec. Second Timothy chapter one. Yep, Second Timothy one and seven. For the most high have not given us the spirit of fear. And a lot a lot of our people are in fear right now, man. They're scared. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. Here it is, people's bugging out in 2020, 2021, and now going in 2022. We have a sound mind because we already know how the story is written out. We just got to make sure that we endure until the end to see the story played out. And we see our enemies getting trodden down in the thermonuclear fire. And we're beamed up and giving praises to you. How about Shimei Shai and those chariots, man? So he didn't give us the spirit of fear. All right. In this time of people fearing and these people say that God fearing. Well, you would trust in the God of the Bible, which his name is Yahweh. And his sons, Yahweh Shai. This is Proverbs 19 and, um, uh, let me see. Is that the one? Yeah, Proverbs 19 and 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. So, what Esau thinks he's going to do or try to do, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand, not the counsel of Esau. So, the Lord. He's putting a spirit on Esau to do this so he can end himself, so he can self-destruct himself, leading up until World War III. Okay? So, hey, this is another, uh, this is part two of round two. Expect more lockdowns. Okay? And expect to hear uh, the famine of the, uh, hearing the word of the Lord as well. Because we're not always going to be making videos. This gospel is going to shift to another level. But, hey, Lord willing, 2022 is the year. But expect to see more lockdowns coming in 2022. So with that, I want to say Shalom.